Many people say that Jesus never claimed to be God in the Bible. So what I've got in this video is a number of statements in the Bible that ascribe Jesus to doing certain works that were limited to God alone in the scriptures. And by fulfilling these, Jesus is pointing to the fact that he is God. The first one is that Jesus forgives people's sins and knows the hearts of men. Knowing their thoughts, Jesus said, why do you entertain evil thoughts in your hearts? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up and walk. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth. Matthew 5 verses 4 to 6. Jesus also claimed to be the Christ, the anointed one of Israel, and that his believers would follow his voice. They would be his flock and his sheep. If you are the Christ, tell us plainly, Jesus answered them. I told you and you did not believe. The works that I do in my father's name bear witness about me. But you do not believe me because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice and I am known of them. And they follow me and I give them eternal life and they will never perish. Jesus here was clearly claiming that he is the good shepherd and the sheep hear his voice and they follow him. Jesus also claims in the scripture complete oneness with God. I and my father are one. John 10 30. You see in this very short verse it's very obvious that Jesus is claiming that he and his father are one and the same. There is another verse that's very similar where Jesus says if you have seen me then you have seen the father and there's another verse that says if you have seen me then you have seen God. So what did the Jews say? Did the Jews reject the ideas that Jesus was claiming to be God? Well, in the Bible, that's not what we find. We find that the Jews were not particularly happy with Jesus and they accused him of blasphemy. And the reason he was accused of blasphemy in the Bible is because in the Bible, it portrays that the Jews thought that Jesus was claiming to be God. And this is very clear. The Jews consider it blasphemy because Jesus claimed to be God in the Bible. The Jews said this to Jesus. It's not for a good work that we're going to stone you. But for blasphemy, because you, being a man, make yourself God. Clearly, the Jews believed that Jesus was claiming to be God. Elsewhere in the Bible, we find that the blood of Jesus is described as God's own blood, as if it was shed by God himself. And so let's have a read of these kind of verses. Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God which he obtained with his own blood in Acts 20 verse 28. And we also find in the book of Acts and in the book of Timothy and in various other books in the Bible that Jesus is ascribed as both the saviour and God in a very, very interesting Greek phrase, which when you look at it, points to the fact that Jesus is both God and saviour. Let me read this phrase to you. Waiting for our blessed hope the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. So let's have a look at a second verse that speaks about Jesus being both God and Saviour, and this time it's by Simon or Peter. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained a faith of equal standing with ours by the righteousness of God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And that's in Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1. We also find in the Bible that Jesus is described as being worshipped and we know that the Old Testament was very strict and the only person that you could worship in the Old Testament was God. But now Jesus is physically God in the flesh in the New Testament. We find that Jesus allows people to worship him. And let's have a read. And those in the boat worshipped him saying, truly, you are the son of God. And that's Matthew 14 verse 33. There are so many phrases here that clearly ascribe Jesus to being God. And there are so many more in the Bible. I want you to be aware of these because Jesus clearly is saying that he is the father and that he is God and that the two are equal with one another and that he has the power to forgive sins. And there's none that's righteous, no, not one. But yet Jesus is considered good and perfect and without sin. We find constant sightings in the Bible of Jesus being both God and saviour in a way that always describes Jesus Christ as being both God and the Saviour. 
my Lord and my God is what Thomas says to what doubting Thomas says to Jesus when he dips his fingers into the marks or the holes in his hands where the the nails from the cross went. We constantly find these through the scriptures. Please do like and subscribe to my channel, Jesus Doctrine, to stay up to date for new episodes of my channel.